Hi guys, so today I wanted to discuss with you how to bid uh, plowing a parking lot, whether you have a pickup truck with a plow or a bobcat or a tractor, whatever you may use. Um, I thought the last video left you with too much fluff and not enough facts and I did not really go into deep detail how I arrived at the numbers that I did to price out the parking lot. So I wanted to go a little more in depth with you to show you how to price a job like that, that we looked at with my friend, and the parking lot that I do that you've seen in my video. Um, if you were going to do that as per contract for a stranger, not how I work out the deal with my friend, which is basically a per hour rental price. Um, so that's off the table with how you would plow snow. So without further ado, let's take one more look at the parking lots that we're going to discuss and let's break down how we're going to charge the customers, make money and be economically priced. Because remember, snow removal is something that people do not want to have to pay for. It's something that is done in a day and then it melts and it's out of sight, out of mind. So in order to keep you competitive with the pricing, let's go over that. Okay guys, we are here with Jay. Hello. We are consulting in snow removal. This is the parking lot he's pricing out. I want to take one more look at this. This is all parking lot he has to clear. There is not one place to put the snow. I had a feeling this was going to be the problem. So the customer came to him and asked him for a price for snow. And he gave him an initial offer of five hundred dollars for four to six inches of snow. Up to the van. And it's gonna go up to the van. There's absolutely nowhere to put the snow here. So what we're gonna cover first is the equipment he's going to need for this lot, which is by far going to be a bobcat. He has no access from the rear. He has only access from this area in front of us. Well, you can't count on the condo association to be clean when you come. No. So you can't think you're gonna use that as an entrance. And these people are not gonna let you put the snow in front of their house. No. They're gonna come out and rebel and start a war. So over here, you're gonna have ability to put some snow. And maybe over here, but this is the entrance way. Does he have any spots designated for snow? Did he tell you that? Over here. Yeah. Yeah. It this them. belongs to them. Right. So your your only option is a is a machine. And I want you to understand that you gotta look at when you're pricing a lot is before you even decide how you're gonna charge the person, is where do you put the snow? And that lot is a disaster trying to place the snow and if you get larger and larger of snow events you're going to have to push that snow up or truck it out you're going to have to factor all of that in too in deciding how much you're going to charge the person now obviously if you're going to start trucking that's going to have to come under a separate contract and separate billing because you can never factor that into your price trucking snow out um so the next thing is, you know, cars in the lot. That lot is complicated to plow. A lot of cars, there's a lot of shoveling around to do. And that's something that he, that Jay obviously did not realize being new to the snow removal business is that you have to shovel around the cars. And you're going to price it. Are you going to do a lump sum price, which is pretty much whether it's two inches or two feet, it's let's just say for example it's a hundred dollars lump sum now lump sum prices i generally give to very small lots parking lots that maybe only have a handful of spots where even in a larger event i would be in and out of there in 15 20 30 minutes do a per inch price which is as jay was saying a two to six inch six to 12 12 to 18 18 plus um you can do it pricing it that way per inch um, you can price it by per hourly rate. 
you could say, well, for me and two laborers to shovel, uh, it's going to be $300 an hour. So this way, what, however many hours you spend there is whatever the customer pays, plus the material for the saw. Okay, so we covered lump sum, we covered per hour, we covered per inch, and then you could do a per push price. Uh, so if the customer says, in the event of an eight inch storm, I want you to plow every four inches. Okay, so that means you would have to do two passes. However, they're manageable passes. So you can relatively get in and out of there quick. Now, years ago when I was a very big snow removal contractor, when I had the insurance and all, I used to plow for banks. And they used to get a per push price because they wanted to be plowed every two inches, even if it was two feet of snow. So I would actually have a handful of branches that were my responsibility. The person who was the management company hired a few contractors because there were many branches. So I took the branches that were closer to my yard and my home, and the other branches were subbed out to other contractors. So I gave him a per push price. So let's say every time I made a pass, just for example, I charged $100. So if I made five pushes, so each branch would get $100. So I was doing four branches. So that's $400 around. So let's just say we had a six inch snow event and they wanted every two inches. That's three pushes per four lots. So that means my bill for each lot would be $300 times four lots is $1,200. That's just for easy layman terms. Every branch. As you can see, in that particular parking lot, you're going to have to lift and carry snow. So this is why it's going to require a skid steel loader versus over a truck. Now, I will cover a parking lot that I do that you can hit with a so pickup truck. I priced truck. out a one to six inch snow event and a six to 12 inch snow event. And uh, let's break it down. So here is my breakdown of a one to six inch snow event. So how did I arrive at this number? So I figure you're going to need two laborers to be shoveling, okay? So you're going to have to pay them approximately $20 an hour for total working hours, that's $80. You're going to use approximately six to eight, ba 50 pound, six to eight 50 pound bags of salt they're $10 a piece, that's $80. You have approximately, I'm figuring it'll take two hours to do the lot, so you got two hours of Bobcat rental at $100 an hour, so that's $200. Plus you have travel time. Now I factor in travel time for accommodations, uh, be it fuel for your trucks, uh, coffee break, etc. Figure that's $75. So that's $435 total cost to your business. Okay, now of course I'm not factoring in insurance in this, but that has to be taken into account as well. So the bid that I would give this lot for this amount of snow is $800. Okay, and I feel that that should cover you pretty good. And if it takes you less than two hours to do, if it's a two inch event and you burn it out fast, well, then that's good for you. If it takes you a little longer, you got a little leeway here with this amount of money because as the weather now, I don't know, it doesn't matter if you're the operator or not, but you're still making profit on the machine. Now, the laborers, I gave you just the absolute cost of the laborers, okay? You don't need a snowblower there, so you don't need another piece of equipment. So that's how I landed at the $800 range here, okay? Um, now let's highlight for a 6 to 12 inch snow event. So now I'm figuring it's going to take you approximately 4 hours to plow this lot. So for a 6 to 12 inch event, I have 2 laborers, same thing, $20 an hour, 8 total hours. I'm at $160. Uh, the salt would be the same, that's 80 bucks. 
four hours of the rental for $100 an hour is $400. Travel time is the same. Miscellaneous cost, $75. That will be $715 estimated cost to the company. And the bid that I could see you giving would be $1,250. Okay, for these two lots. Now, the lot that I do... Um, Uh, that you saw in the video that's basically a gigantic box. Now, you can do that lot with a truck. Now, on average, it takes me approximately a half hour to 45 minutes to plow that lot in a one to six inch event. So figure with a truck, it would take you probably around the same time. You'd have to do a little more maneuvering with a truck. I mean, even if it takes a little bit more, a little bit less time with the truck because it is faster. Um, on its feet rather than a bobcat is. So that particular lot, you can really go there with one laborer and just with that truck. And a truck generally here would get 65 to 75 an hour, let's say, um, for plowing a smaller lot like that. So that particular kind of lot, you really can't use this formula. Well, you can for the cost of it, but again, that lot, should cost around, I would say, four to five hundred dollars, even for a smaller event, uh, just for the simple fact that um, you're going to spend time there. You have to travel there, so you have to make it worth your while. It's very, very important to factor in your travel time in these estimates because you can drive around for two to three hours doing all these lots, plowing, and not get paid for it. And then it's like, well, why did you even get up in the morning? So for this event, this is how I would price it. Thank you guys. Um, any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below. I'd be 